everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Julie. I'm a home daycare provider here in Ohio for six children. Today I thought I would share a tour of my arts and craft room that is used in my home daycare. I will be filming a video of my actual daycare space both inside and outside here shortly. On my channel you're going to find mostly daycare related things, meals, lesson plans, arts and craft. So if any of that is of interest of you, please consider subscribing to my channel and I look forward to to being part of this home daycare community here on YouTube. All right, everyone. This is my arts and craft room. This is where we do all our table activities and our craft projects. I also use this room to store all my daycare materials. I typically don't store any toys in here. I have a whole separate room for that. I was lucky enough that when we bought this house, this room was already completed. And I love the fact that it has like pergo flooring and that it's not carpeted because the rest of the basement is carpeted. One day I'd like to change that as well. My only complaint to this room would really be the wall color, the green. I would like to go with a little lighter color that way the room would possibly seem bigger. So with that being said, let's start the tour. Starting with the left when you walk in, I just have a simple border, I believe from the Dollar Tree, hanging up along the wall. I have the monthly calendar. I tried to do like the day of the week and what the weather is. More for my sanity than the kids. They, again, they don't know they're like three and under. I like to keep an extra paper towel for any like spills or messes. That paper roll I got from Ikea. Um, I just keep some markers and stuff for myself when I'm writing names on art projects. And then the kids love that Mr. Potato Head. These shelves, I wanna say I got from Walmart. They're like 30 or 35 dollars each and all the bins I got from the Dollar Tree. So starting on the left, I like to color coordinate all my containers. That way when the children are putting things away, I can say, oh, put the red bin where the red basket is. It makes it easier. Again, I have a younger group, so anything to help them help me clean up is much appreciated. So over here on the left, the blue one is just little Legos. Um, again, I think from like the Dollar Tree, a bejeweled game I had, some puzzles on the bottom. The green one has puzzles as well. Some little blocks. Up here I got this little um, animal set from Toys R Us when it was going out of business for like $5. So that was a great find. To the red bin, just some Play-Doh, some Play-Doh cookie cutouts. Those are really the only thing that I rotate on the shelf just to kind of go with the weekly theme. Some coloring books. The blue shelf has little mini chalkboards. I have the metal tin trays from the Dollar Tree with magnetic letters. And then a thing of like art smocks. I put together this little like writing center. My niece wrote that. It was really funny because she actually had welcome spelled with two L's. She drew that. I just don't have the heart to take it down. Um, I just have some like crayons, markers, scissors in there, some assorted cut up paper. This table is from Walmart and I love it because it's actually a dry erase table. I used to get the tables from Ikea. They were like 20 bucks. This table is 20 bucks as well. And I like it because it's espresso color and it is dry erase. So that's really cute. Along the back side of this room, I just have some pictures of like different shapes hung up. That's when we were doing our camping theme. They have little, if you can see it, like little tents and trees on those. I need to change those out. Then I have these little color pictures as well. I'm not sure. I probably got these from like Michaels or maybe the Target dollar spot at one point. And then I have a little art station. That sign, look what I made, is from Kohl's. I want to say that was like $20. That's this week's art project. They did Clifford. This easel is from Target, and the other side of it is like a dry erase, so which is cute. And then right here behind this closet door, I just have some more like aprons for painting, and then this little easel routine. I want to say from TPT. Again, the kids can't read, but if they look at the pictures, they might be able to figure out what to do. I have a double closet here. All right, this closet, let's see what's going on in here. To the left, I just have some extra like games, some Play-Doh stuff, some foam. 
This container right here, I have extra little mini clipboards, some tins from the Dollar Tree, some baskets, um, some styrofoam balls up there. In here, I have extra cardboard things like gift boxes, popcorn boxes, any kind of stuff to make crafts with. I have party supplies. In here, I have prizes for games that we do. And also, this could be like birthday stuff. A box of extra puzzles down there. I have two bins right here for sensory. This first bin, again, this stuff is all pretty much in the Dollar Tree. This first bin has like little birds. I have like Chinese fans in here. Some like Mardi Gras stuff as well. The second one is more like rocks and pebbles. Uh, let's see, contact paper. That purple and pink, um, these two things right here I got from Michaels, these little like portable desk. All these trays are either used for like art projects or like again for the magnetic letters. Crate paper, extra summer stuff in there is like boats, strawberry baskets, puzzle pieces I wanna say in there. I got all these foam letters from the um, Goodwill. So I just put them all in like different colors. So those are great for art. And a bunch of just like paper towel, toilet paper tubes. And then these crates, I originally had banker boxes. And then I found these for like $2 each at Walmart clearance out. So I'm very happy they fit perfectly. And I just put like different theme things in here. This one, I had so much of this paper left over from after Easter sale that I filled up a whole crate with it. I have like an apple theme. That's pretty much my back to school theme. We did a Hawaiian theme over this summer. What's that bottom one? Oh, like racing, I did a whole space theme. Some of the themes that I've done, I don't have video on, but I have some pretty great pictures of how I did the setup. So I will either link those in this video or do a separate video with that. Then I have like holiday, um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, like 4th of July, Memorial Day stuff. And the ones on the right, again, are more dramatic play, except for the Valentine, Easter. What I like to do is after the holidays, when everything is like clearanced out at like Target Spot, Walmart, I just go and I pick it all up and I can use it for next year. So with this Halloween one, it's just kind of filled with like cookie cutters, um, some different baskets, some like party decor. I love these little chair covers I found. I might use those upstairs on my dining room table so the kids eat. Um, I got these cute little pumpkin, I want to say it's in the dollar spot at Target. So those will be cute for my older ones to do. So moving along here, I have this little like nook, which is great because it Again, house is so much stuff. Over here, I just have like large books. I have like Play-Doh mats, um, all these kind of paper holders, bingo cards, bunch of extra whiteboards on here. This is all stuff to be like printed out, laminated, calendar stuff. Um, behind here is like Easter eggs. Again, extra like props and stuff. That's for the circus. The circus cats I got from Hobby Lobby. Let's see down here this blue files where I keep extra like lesson plan stuff just some extra bins and Then I have two whole row of these iris cases, which I love I do all my um, dramatic play kits inside of those I Actually have two on the table. I'm gonna show you this book slash classroom thing This is kind of all for like um, my bulletin boards most of it's all from like the Target dollar spot Dollar Tree I label my cubbies and stuff with those items in there. The jobs chart, again, it's just more for decor. My kitties don't have any jobs, clearly. I put this little like our day schedule, which I got from TPT. On this top shelf, these six white containers. I mean, obviously you can see they're crayons, markers, craft supplies, paint supplies, different kind of like clips and stuff. Actually, I have two of those. Some glue, tape, scissors. Those two sensory um, items right there, those two sensory bins, is what I use for my small sensory table. And I have some magnetic dolls. 
This middle shelf, I have this Melissa and Doug puzzle. And then this Melissa and Doug um, money holder. This was a great find. I found it at like Goodwill for like five bucks. These two bins are from Michael's. I think I got them like a 50% off coupon for like $25 each. This one houses all like my alphabet cards. And then these are pretty much like flash cards. Um, I have a whole container of cookie cutters. This is like my fire drill stuff. Some doodle boards from the Dollar Tree. This is kind of like a hodgepodge of like game pieces and stuff. This foam art, again, I love going like after the holidays and looking for different foam things to do on the holidays. So I have a bunch of Halloween, a bunch of Christmas for Michaels after Christmas last year. Some paint supplies in here. Um, just little containers, rollers. I use these paper plates. I cut them in half and put the paint on there a lot of times. A whole bin for sponges. And then I have like small paints and large paints. Below that, I have a bin full of cardboard. We have a paper store by us that sells um, individual things like this for like five cents each. So I always go there and stock up. Mini clipboards. Right here is alphabet letters. These are both foam and magnetic. And then to the left is just like cleaning supplies, baggies, stuff like that. I have a whole bunch of construction paper. And then I have, of course, these little like book bins just like different curriculum books, my file folder materials, coloring books, business books, like daycare books, and then planners. And then at the very bottom is I have all my binders. So I'm doing them by month and by theme. It's kind of all hodgepodge here. One day it'll look pretty. Um, let's see, this little cart, I laminate everything. So a whole stack of laminating paper, a sort of magazines to cut out stuff. I have this file folder section, which I love. I love file folder games. So I just simply make these by like, they match colors, they match shapes. I do them like themes. We did bears a couple of weeks ago. So I made a whole bunch of like um, different bear ones. I have one that's all blue because we were learning about the color blue. And then I have a bear match game that has different kind of bears. The kids are getting pretty good at them, so I'm going to have to make them more difficult. And then down below here, again, is just more miscellaneous like arts and crafts stuff. This rolling cart, I want to say I got from Sam's Club for like $25. So in here, just some more calendar pieces. Um, craft supplies, chalk, things like that, my rulers. I found these funny little like 3D glasses at Goodwill. So I thought this would probably come in handy one day. Bingo cards, assortment, different themes. Try to keep them all together that way when I know we're gonna play a game. Uh, what is this, cards, bags, and paper. Hmm, just like miscellaneous bags and stuff like that. This one is match game. Just most of this stuff is from the Target Dollar Spot. Just assorted like um, different kind of like letter matching stuff. My kids, they're too young for this. So that'll be something they can grow into. Different games that I have in here, game pieces. Um, science and sensory. Oh, tongs, magnetic magnifying glasses. Let's see, room labels. Oh, this is like different stuff that I hang on the walls and down below is little like books and stuff. I got this little uh, sorter from someone online like one of the Facebook mommy groups. This is so great. I do a lot of different sensory sorting with this. And then I have two sets of blocks down there just on like an old TV coffee table. These bins Let's see, I got these bins from Aldi's, again, a great find for like $5 each. And I've seen these at Target for like 15. The top one, I like to keep everything pretty organized. That's why I have everything labeled. And I saw it in the future if I ever bring on an assistant. Everything's already labeled. So writing supplies, labels, letters, just some like miscellaneous stuff like that. Here is one of my first aid kits. It's really... I think I made a sign for it, yeah. 
But I actually had purchased an actual first aid kit that I keep in the other room, but that serves its purpose in here. Just a copy of my daily schedule. And then these three bins are puzzles, sticker books, um, discovery play, bulletin board, stuff like that. And then I have my little mini library. I used to keep this in the room with all my toys, but brought it out here because then I was never using the books. And I do make a weekly library run. So I brought this bin out so that I could put all the books that are going back to the library there. So this week we're doing letter D. So one of the little activities I had the kids do is I made this silly little mouth. And these are like old Pringle um, miniature containers. Supposedly going to be teeth. And then I had bought this jumbo toothbrush on um, Amazon so they can just like brush the teeth. And the table that I have in here, I want to say I bought it on like overstock.com for 100 bucks. It's super cute. It adjusts. So right now I think it's like pretty much the lowest it can go. And then one last thing I wanted to show you were kind of what I put in those iris containers. So the first thing is that when I do them by like theme, this is my Halloween one. Again, you saw that I had a whole like Halloween bin. This is just kind of like an overflow. So just different games. Looks like I have bingo in here. Last year, I got all these like pumpkin books and stuff from Target. Some like googly eyes, some craft material in here. And then I did an autumn one. I thought this was cute. I made stuff. I didn't make it. I bought stuff to do like apple pie. So I got these little tins they can fill with these little um, pom poms. And then I got brown. Oh gosh, there's more stuff in here. I got brown um, felt pieces. So I thought if they just, I should probably cut them to fit in there. You know, that would be the bottom and then they can fill it up and stuff like that. To make apple pie. I didn't realize they had other stuff in here. Hmm. What are these? Oh, it's like die shapes. Okay. And then I must have got this sign. I was going to buy this again. Oh, Lordy. So I must have got this last year, so I am thankful for. It's super cute. I'll take the kids' pictures in front of that. That's it, guys. I would love to know what you do for your Arts and Crafts Center. I'm definitely very fortunate to have such a large size of room in my house. I always find these videos very interesting. We all kind of pretty much have a lot of the similar things, considering Target Spot and Dollar Tree seem to be the happening place for daycares. Please leave any comments in the section below on any other kinds of videos you would be interested in and I will talk to you soon.